Hey Preppers, I'm Bob from the K6 UDA radio channel, and you're watching my favorite Prepper channel, The Comms Prepper, on YouTube. Oh my god, these are delicious. Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is The Comms Prepper. I'd first like to say thanks to Bob, K6 UDA, for that great intro video he made for me. Bob has the K6 UDA radio show channel here on YouTube, and I'll put a link down below. If you like the content on the Comms Prepper channel, then you're going to like Bob's channel. He has some great information on amateur radio and some really cool equipment. So if you have some time, check out his channel. I got out here late to the retreat location tonight, so we're going to work in the shed this evening, setting up that packet radio terminal node controller up here in the mountain and leave it up and running so other people here in the valley can use it. We're going to enable the mailbox on board that modem and enable digipeating on that modem so people can leave messages on the modem and also relay through this modem. So let's walk over to the shed and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, by all rights, I ought to call this video an episode of my new playlist here on the channel Bench Mess because I got quite a mess out here in the shed, but we're going to leave this as a standalone video. Tonight's plan is to permanently install the Cantronics Cam XL terminal node controller here in the shed, connect it to the ASU FT2600M radio, and leave it on a local area packet radio network frequency. We'll enable the mailbox feature and the digipeating feature so people in the valley can use this as a node to relay through or leave messages on. So the first thing I'm going to do tonight is get this all powered up and then use the Signal Hound SA44B Spectrum Analyzer to set the modulation level. And that's the drive level coming out of the modem into the radio so we can set it for exactly 3.5 kilohertz of modulation and you'll find that in your Cantronics manual. So I'll break here, set up the laptop, Put the dummy load on the radio so we don't transmit over the air. Key it up and adjust the transmit level to get 3.5 kilohertz of deviation on the spectrum analyzer using the laptop and Signal Hound's companion spike software. Be right back. Okay, we got everything set up. We aligned the Cantronics Cam XL modem, set the transmit level to 42, and that's giving us 3.5 kilohertz of modulation out of the ASU FT2600M. I use my Signal Hound USB SA44 Spectrum Analyzer for that. The frequency I set here is for the West Virginia Darren Net, and that stands for Digital Amateur Radio Emergency Network. And in theory, if I did this all correctly, the folks at the Darren Network should be able to add me into that network, and other folks in that network can utilize this radio for emergency communications. They can also send and receive mail messages on the bulletin board, and use this as a digital repeater here on my mount. So we're all set up. I'm curious to see how this works. I sent an email out and let the guys at Darren know that the radio is on the air, the modem's hooked up, and hopefully in the morning we might be able to see some activity here. We'll come back in with the laptop, use the, the last herd or M herd command, and see how many stations have actually transmitted into this unit and how many stations this unit has actually heard. I'm kind of excited about this. We're going to leave this up and running when I leave the retreat location, and hopefully this fills a void in the Darren Radio Network out in my area of West Virginia. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a late night project setting up a packet radio node in the mountains of West Virginia. Thanks for watching, guys.